Join us as we look at some of the weirdest snakes in the world. Number 14. Albino Nelson Snake Also known as the Nelson's Milk Snake, this strange-looking serpent stands out from the average brown variety. With nearly pure white scales broken up by bold red rings, the albino Nelson is a stunning creature. It is a type of king snake that lives mostly in Mexico, from Jalisco and Guanajuato to the Pacific coast, as well as on the Trace Marias Islands and in northwestern Michoacan. These slithering reptiles grow up to 42 inches long and are, fortunately, not venomous. Nelson's milk snakes were named for the U.S. Biological Survey member Edward W. Nelson, who worked for the organization beginning in 1890. Number 13. Tiger Killback This weird snake is found in East and Southeast Asia. It's also called the Yamakagashi in Japan and the floral snake in Korea. Tiger keelbacks are deep olive in hue, with bright orange and black stripes or spots, similar to the pattern of a tiger, that travel down around a third of their bodies. Their underbellies are whitish, and they grow up to 39 inches long. These serpents mostly feed on frogs and toads, but also eat other small vertebrates. Tiger keelbacks aren't very aggressive when they feel threatened. Instead of striking quickly like many other snakes, they tend to flatten themselves and stay still when temperatures are cold and flee when temperatures are warm. This species also has two glands in its neck that isolate steroid irritants they obtain from the poisonous toads they ingest. Tiger keelbacks use this compound as a defense against predators. Number 12. Queen Snake Queen snakes are reptiles with an overall dark brown, gray, or olive color and yellowish stripes that vertically run down their bodies from head to tail. They also have four darker stripes that span the length of their bellies, which is important for their identification, since no other snakes of similar species exhibit this pattern. The queen snake is truly unusual because of its highly specific environmental requirements and dietary needs. These serpents can only survive in places with clean running streams and drainage pools that have rocky or stony beds. Plus, the water must remain a minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit when the queen snakes aren't hibernating during the winter. The reason for all of this is due to the snake's prey, which is made up almost exclusively of newly molted crayfish. When crayfish have just molted, they are unable to properly defend themselves and queen snakes take full advantage of that. Number 11. Common Vine Snake Although its name implies that it's ordinary, the common vine snake looks anything but. Also called the long-nosed whip snake, this bright green serpent is very slender with a narrow, pointed face and squinty eyes that seem to say, what are you up to? Common vine snakes live in Sri Lanka, Burma, Thailand, India, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Bangladesh. These slithering critters are somewhat venomous and are boreal and prey mostly on lizards and frogs. Common vine snakes use binocular vision to hunt, which means they can discern one 3D image using both of their eyes, kind of like humans. Despite their tiny size, these snakes move slowly and blend in with the foliage and vines of their environment. Number 10. Burrowing Asp These sleek snakes are only native to the Middle East and Africa. Other common names for these serpents are mole vipers, stiletto snakes, burrowing vipers, and sidestabbing snakes. Sidestabbing snake refers to this creature's ability to strike at prey or predators with the side of its head and plunge a single protruding fang into its target, thus injecting them with venom. Burrowing asps can be any of about 19 species of snakes, one of which is the Israeli mole viper. This threatening asp is generally black with round pupils set in small eyes. Its tail and head are short and pointed making it difficult to tell which end is which, an important task for any potential victim. They grow up to about 31 inches in length and are highly venomous. Although this mole viper prefers delicious baby snakes, it'll settle for small mammals. Number 9. Eastern Hognose Snake 
It may not be the prettiest of serpents, but the eastern hognose is certainly an odd-looking snake. Also known as the spreading adder, eastern hognose snake, or deaf adder, this blunt-faced reptile is only found in North America. Since the eastern hognose isn't harmful to people, only unlucky amphibians, it's often considered non-venomous. These snakes grow up to be an average of 28 inches long and come in a wide variety of colors and patterns – green, red, orange, gray, black, brown, or any combination of these. You name it, and there's surely a hognose out there sporting that unusual hue. Their patterns also vary from blotchy to checkered and sometimes no pattern at all, and their underbellies tend to be yellow, gray, or off-white. But the feature that doesn't change from snake to snake is its small upturned snout, which is used to dig in loose soil. Number 8. Spiny Bush Viper Now, this sharp-looking snake is one that's sure to grab your attention. It's endemic to Central Africa and is also called the rough-scaled bush viper and hairy bush viper. These slithering bad boys grow up to 29 inches long. They have short snouts and although their Disney-like eyes make them look almost inviting, they're recognized for something else – their scales. Their large, exceptionally keeled dorsal scales make these vipers look spiky and threatening. Some people compare them to bristles. Either way, the spiny bush viper looks like something you don't want to mess with. So listen to your instincts if you come face to face with one. Their venom is mostly made of neurotoxins and can be lethal to people who don't quickly seek medical attention. Number 7. Flying Snake Just by hearing the name of this snake, you can guess what makes it so unique. It's not often that you see a snake soaring through the air, unless it's on a plane. Get it? These reptiles are also called gliding snakes and they live in Southeast Asia, Southern China, Sri Lanka, and India. Flying snakes can climb up trees by pushing against the bark using the ridge-like scales on their bellies. Once the snake comes to the tip of a branch and its tail hangs off the end, it's ready to take a leap of faith. Rearing back into a J-shape and then leaning forward to determine the angle of its jump, the flying snake plunges from the branch, forcing itself up and away. It then sucks in its abdominal area and flares its ribs, making it more wing-like. While gliding through the sky, the flying snake moves as it would on the ground to help it land properly. Number 6. Sea Snake They're on the ground, in the air, and in the sea. No matter where you are, there's no escaping all of the world's weird squirming reptiles. This subfamily of serpents is found throughout the warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, usually near the coast. Most species of sea snakes grow up to about 5 feet long, but the largest of its kind is the yellow sea snake, which can reach almost 10 feet. Although many of these serpents have interesting colors, one of the most unique looking is the yellow-lipped sea crate. Its head is black, snout and upper lip are yellow, and its body is usually bluish-gray. Bold black rings horizontally pattern the snake from head to tail, but they halt at the snake's belly, which is yellow. Like many vibrant creatures, these snakes are highly venomous, but don't strike at people unless they feel threatened. Number 5. Horned Viper These dangerous-looking snakes grow to a max of 33 inches long and are easily discernible by their horn-like protrusions set above each eye. They range from yellowish, pinkish, or pale brown or gray, generally matching the substrate of their environment. Since they live in North African deserts and the Middle East, horned vipers look fairly rough and sandy. They travel across the soil or sand by sidewinding, a movement unique to snakes that need to get from place to place through slippery or loose substrates. Horned vipers don't strike for no reason, only doing so if they feel threatened. They do, however, hide in the sand and await their prey striking quickly when the unlucky critter approaches. These devilish snakes are venomous too. Being bitten can cause nausea, vomiting, swelling, hemorrhaging, and necrosis. Number 4. Elephant Trunk Snake If this list was about the world's prettiest snakes, then the elephant trunk wouldn't make the list. 
They look very similar to the animal's snout they're named after. Their heads are wide and flat, and their nostrils are located on top of their snouts. With heads only as wide as their bodies and baggy dull brown skin, elephant trunk snakes aren't exactly a sight for sore eyes. They grow up to 94 inches long and are sometimes kept as pets since they aren't venomous. These snakes are aquatic, living in lagoons, rivers, and estuaries. Elephant trunk snakes are also nocturnal and feed mostly on amphibians and fish, lying patiently in wait before ambushing their prey. They seldom go on land and can stay underwater for up to 40 minutes at a time. Number 3. Tentacled Snake These peculiar creatures are native to Southeast Asia and are easily characterized by the so-called tentacles that don the front of their heads. They reach 35 inches in length and vary slightly in color and pattern, including blotched, striped, tan, brown, and gray. You'll probably never see a tentacled snake in the wild since they live their entire lives in murky waters. Not that humans have anything to worry about. These serpents possess venomous fangs, but they're located far back in their mouths. Plus, tentacled snakes feed on fish. Number 2. Brahmini Blind Snake If you look at this snake and think earthworm, you're not the first one. The Brahmini blind snake reaches a maximum length of just 4 inches, making it the world's smallest known species of snake. They live their lives burrowing underground, making them even more worm-like. What sets them apart from earthworms and makes them recognizable as snakes are their little scales and itty-bitty eyes. Brahmini blind snakes are native to Africa, maritime Southeast Asia, and the Cocos Keeling Islands. They take up residency in termite and ant nests, dry jungles, wet forests, city gardens, and underneath leaves, logs, and stones. Since they're non-venomous and feed on the pupae, eggs, and larvae of termites and ants, there's nothing to worry about regarding these minuscule serpents. Number 1. Malagasy Leaf-Nosed Snake Perhaps the weirdest-looking snake of all is the Malagasy or Madagascar leaf-nosed snake. It only lives in Madagascar and grows to about 3 feet long. The males of the species have long, tapered snouts, while the female snouts are flattened and leaf-like. Besides camouflaging the snakes in foliage, the use of their unique snouts is unknown. Malagasy leaf-nosed snakes don't prove much of a threat to humans and primarily hunt by sitting and waiting for their prey to come close. Although bites from these serpents are severely painful, they aren't lethal. Which of these snakes do you think is the weirdest, and why? Are there any other strange snakes you'd add to the list? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.